What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon here and today I would like to announce that it is my birthday! Woo! And for my birthday all I wanted to do was open up a bunch of Celebrations collection boxes. That's right, we got four Celebrations collection boxes. The Lance's Charizard V, Dark Sylveon V, the Zacian Level X, and the Pikachu V Union Celebration boxes. We're going to see if I can pull anything out of these boxes on my birthday, so thank you for joining me. My one birthday wish is that you would please use the eBay link below if you do any holiday shopping on eBay, as it would give me and my channel a very small kickback and I would greatly appreciate it. All right guys, before we get started with our opening, I want to give you all various code cards from different Sword and Shield sets. Here you go. My kids have been opening up a bunch of Pokemon packs this season, uh, and they have no use for these cards. Neither do I, so I thought, hey, let me give them to the loyal subscribers. Someone out there might be able to use them. But after I show you this, I'm gonna show you a card that my daughter pulled out of her very first pack here. Uh, I bought a bunch of those EV, V, Pikachu V, I think Eternatus V tins from Target. So as a early birthday present, I gave her one of these EV V tins. It comes with like four or five uh, sword and shield packs. It's pretty cool. Plus you get the tin and the EVV promo. But anyway, very first pack she got out of it was a battle styles pack and I thought, <laughs> brother. But she got this beauty right here out of the very first pack, the Tyranitar V alternate art. And I was like, oh, of course she would pull that. You know, her old man can't pull anything. I'm hoping to change that today. But yeah, check out this card. This was not pulled by me. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit off center on the front there, but otherwise the back is like phenomenal. Yeah, what, probably, yeah, not probably. It is the best card from Battle Style set. She had a little first pack magic there, so I wanted to share that with y'all. And in preparation for any hits, I have come prepared with penny sleeves and top loaders, so let's get right to this opening. I would like to start with this Zacian Level X box, which comes with the Surfing Pikachu pin, of course the Zacian Level X card, and a bunch of celebrations, and a couple Sword and Shield packs. So let's bust this open and see what we got. All right, so here it is. Oh, some celebrations packs. Then we got Chilling Rain and Vivid Voltage. Not too bad for Sword and Shield packs. So I think we'll open up the Chilling Rain and Vivid Voltage first. But let's take a look. And here is the code card for this uh, deluxe pin collection box, if anybody wants it. We got this beautiful uh, Pikachu, <laughs> surfing Pikachu pin there. It's actually pretty heavy duty looking. And then we got the Zacian Level X card. Let's take a look at it. Not too shabby. Take a look at the back. Not too bad, considering it was lodged in a piece of plastic. It's a very nice card. I'm going to add it to the collection. All right, first up, we got some Chilling Rain. Let's see if we can pull a legendary bird out of this. All right, here is the code card for that. Let me do the card trick. Starting off with a Metal Energy. Clara, Haunter, I love Haunter, one of my favorite Pokemon. A Blitzel, Quillfish, Galarian Slowpoke. Weedle, a Clubopus, a Raboot, and the rare is a Binette. So, nothing out of that pack. Nothing unusual for me though, not to pull anything. If you are anybody's a long time viewer of my channel, you know I don't have the best of luck. But maybe we can get something out of this Vivid Voltage pack. All right, code card for you all. I was actually going to do this live. Uh, I was going to do this live next week and see if anybody wanted to buy into these boxes to be opened. Uh, but I'm not very familiar with doing live openings, unlike a lot of my fellow PokeTubers. So I think I might do that in the future, but I'm just not ready, or better yet, not equipped for that right now. But I did want to do a live opening, uh, maybe maybe next time. Stone Energy and a Lucario. Ooh, my daughter loves Lucario. I think I will give that card to her. All right, on to the celebrations packs. This is what I'm here for. So let's take a look. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the card tricks for this set. I know there's not, not too many cards in each pack. Uh, so bear with me on this first pack. I think I'm just gonna go through it, not do uh, any, any arranging of the cards. We have a Cosmog Hollow. That's really cool. And then we have a Cosmoum, a Rockets Zapdos. Yeah, Rocket Zapdos, a Flying Pikachu VMAX, and of course a code card for you all. So let me take a look at these two beauties right here. Oh yeah. I know the Flying Pikachu VMAX isn't very rare. <laughs> and I'm not really sure about the Rocket Zapdos, but these cards are like super clean. It seems like these are very easy cards to grade. 
Uh, the pop report's been filling up with a bunch of PSA 10s, but yeah. Rocket Zapdos is one of my favorite renditions of Zapdos, so that is beautiful. I'm going to sleeve that up and put that in the background. All right, beautiful, looking good. On to the next pack. I think I'm just gonna open them up as is. Here is a code card for that. So we have a Xerneas Hollow, a Groudon Hollow. I kind of like the fact that they made all these cards hollow, I believe, or most of them hollow. The Palkia, Professor's Research. Pretty awesome how his uh, hand is coming out of the card there. And that's it, just four cards there. Nothing too exciting. All right, next pack. I would like to make a binder collection of this set. It's been a while since I've opened up a set to make a binder collection, so I think that's what I'm gonna do with this set. Here we have a Reshiram, a Groudon, Xerneas, and a Mew. I know this isn't the rarest card in the world, but I mean, you gotta appreciate the, the Hall of Foil and the overall artwork of this card. And the last celebrations pack for this Zacian level Xbox. All right, code card for you. Starting off with a Groudon, a Lugia, very nice, a Ho-Oh, very nice, and a Full Art Pikachu card. Once again, I know these aren't the rarest uh, pulls from this pack, but it's definitely an awesome artwork of that fat Pikachu sitting right there. I love it. All right, folks, that does it for that box. On to the Dark Sylveon V box. All right, for the Dark Sylveon box, there is the code card. And then let's take a look at the Dark Sylveon V. Very, very beautiful. Looks very good on the front there. Awesome, wait. Little nick right there. But otherwise, very, very awesome card. And then the Jumbo Sylveon V. I'm not much of a Jumbo card collector, but that is still very, very nice. So in this box, we've got four Celebrations packs, plus a Darkness of Blaze and Battle Styles. We will, of course, start off with the least of those, which is Battle Styles. All right, Battle Styles code card right there. A lot of code cards for y'all today. And let's take a look at what we got. Psychic energy to start. Uh, some kind of scroll of the swirls or whatever. <laughs> Bufalant, Crowdaunt, Mankey, Slowpoke, Remoraid, Cubone, Vivillion, and a Rapid Strike Urshifu. Woo, your boy Top 10 is not doing too bad today. Look at that. Not too bad. There's like a ton of Urshifu cards in this set. So I, I like Urshifu, there's not a, lot, a whole lot of value behind this Pokemon, but I think it's an awesome concept. It's cool to have a fighting Pokemon like that. So let me sleeve him up and consider that a, our second pretty nice hit. All right, put him right next to Rocket Zapdos on to the Darkness Ablaze pack. Here is the code card for Darkness Ablaze. So of course in this pack you can get the Charizard V or the Charizard V Max. There's a couple uh, cool secret rare cards in this set as well. Billowing Smoke, Turbo Patch, Vibrea, Clink, Mar Marini, Mariani, I don't know, Torchic, Starfly, or Starly, yeah, Starly, <laughs> Skarmory, a Reverse Giddy, and the rare is a Hollow Tapu Coco. On to some Celebrations Packs. Here's a code card for y'all. If you don't know, today is my 33rd birthday. I am old. I am old food. Here's a Reshiram Hollow, Palkia, Cosmoem, and a Zamazenta V. Very nice. I haven't seen this card uh, be graded yet. I mean, if it has, I haven't seen it in the auctions, but yeah. Zamazenta V. On to the next pack. I'm actually very excited to make a binder set of this. Here we have a Dialga, a Zekrom, an Eveltal, and a Lunala. And there's the code card for that pack. Yeah, believe it or not, my last binder set that I made was from Evolutions. <laughs> when I opened up a bunch of Evolutions, uh, I made a master set of that. So that was a lot of fun for me. Code, whoop, code card for you. We've got the Reshiram, the Palkia, the Cosmoem, and another Mew. And the last Celebrations pack here for this box. Here's the code card, and we're starting out with the Ho-Oh, the Palkia, the Zekrom, and the Professor's Research. So. Uh, really, only the Zamazenta V and the Rapid Strike Urshifu V for that box. Let's move along. Up next, we got the Lance's Charizard V box. Uh, from the looks of it, this is not a very well-centered promo, but like I said, it's going into my binder collection, so I really don't care. I don't plan on really grading any of these cards. All right, looks like the same deal for this set. We have the Dark Sablays, Battle Styles, and the Four Celebrations. But first, here is the code card for the Lance's Charizard V box. 
And let's take a look at the Lance's Charizard V. Very, very nice. And then the smaller promo right there. So we're going to start with some battle styles here. Maybe I can channel some of my daughter's energy and pull another Tyranitar V. There's the code card. Here we have a Metal Energy to start. Perugly, Tower of Darkness, Girder, <laughs> Corpfish, Scatterbug, Cubone, Murkrow, Tepig, the Victory Bell Reverse, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. And then here is a Darkness Ablaze pack. All right, code card for that. Let's take a look, see what we got. We got up first a Water Energy, Shinotic, Flaffy, Carvine, that's really creepy looking, Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby, Paras, Larvitar, Reverse Simisage, and the rare is in something that don't care. So nothing out of that pack. On to the celebrations. I would love, out of all four of these boxes, to pull one of the big three from the classic collection. The Charizard, the Blastoise, or the Venusaur would make my day. Here we have an Aveltal, a Kyogre, I don't think we've seen that yet. Ho-Oh, and another Zamazenta V. <laughs> so, eh, eh, whatever. Not what I was looking for, but all right, next pack. I got a funny feeling about this pack. I think we're going to pull something decent. Here is a Dialga Hollow, the Palkia. Ooh, a Garchomp C level X. There we go. That's a hit. Look at that beauty. We got Cynthia right there. That must be. And the rare is a Surfing Pikachu. So that was a good pack. Garchomp C level X. Very, very nice. Let's take a look at this card. These cards, I'm telling you, the quality of celebrations is like unparalleled. I can't believe how nice these cards look. Let me sleeve this puppy up. All right, next pack. I apologize if my light up there is flickering. I hardly ever use it. I only use it for openings, which I rarely ever do, as you know. So there is the code card. We got a Lugia to start, a Xerneas, a Rockets Admin, and another Mew. So not much really there. And last pack of celebrations for this Lance's Charizard V-Box. Here is the code card for that. I keep wanting to do a card trick for this, but there really isn't a card trick. We have another Xerneas, a Dialga, a Birthdays Pikachu. There we go. That's an appropriate card. Top 10's Pikachu right here and even on my birthday. It's like it was meant to be along with a Flying Pikachu. I don't really care too much for the Flying Pikachu, but let's take a look at this Birthday Pikachu. Beautiful. Confetti holofoil there. Take a look at the back. Once again, perfection. That is beautiful. Let me sleeve that up as well. All right, even if I don't pull one of the big three, that birthday Pikachu is more than enough for me. So here we got this last box, the Pikachu V Union box. Let's crack it open and see if we can't get one of those big three cards. All right, here it is, the Pikachu V Union jumbo card. And alongside that, we have these four Pikachu V Union cards with all the amazing arts on it. I'll be honest with you folks, I hate this concept of having to assemble four Pokemon cards to make one. I don't, I kind of wish they would have just did it all on one regular size card. Uh, I feel like that would have been a much better idea. I don't know, not, not feeling the V Union cards, let me just say. But here is the code card for the collection box for you all. And once again, it looks like we have the same packs, battle styles. Darkness of Plays and Celebrations. So it seems like they're putting those packs in every one of these collection boxes, at least every one of mine. So let's start out with another Battle Styles pack in hopes of getting an Urshifu V card of some sort, or even that Tyranitar card would be pretty sweet. Here is the code card for Battle Styles pack. And here's to hoping. Last Battle Styles pack of the video. We have an Energy card, the Golbat, Energy Recycler, Urn of Vitality, Gligar, a Slandit, Bronzor, Cacnea, a Spinoik, Level Ball, and a Drampa. So, dud right there, which is kind of what I was expecting. But at least we did pull that Urshifu V from one of the Battle Styles packs. But so far, nothing out of the Darkness of Blaze packs. Let's see if we can't change that. All right, last pack magic for the Darkness of Blaze here. We have a Kabu, a Gotharita, a Fetchhinder, Wimpod, Fetchling, Passimian, Feebas, Sinisty, a Reverse Greedent, and the rare is a Grimmsnarl VMAX, or yeah, Grimmsnarl VMAX, so we did get a hit. Not too bad. 
I'll take it. All right, there he is, Grim Snarl V. Well, Grim Snarl V Max. So I guess that was considered a hit from Darkness of Blaze. So there's our hits, in my opinion, so far. We got five, and we have four celebrations packs left to open. I'll probably be giving the Urshifu V and the Grim Snarl V Max to my kids because I don't really care about uh, collecting those sets. I'm really just after the celebration set. Here is the code card for the very first celebrations packs. Come on. Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, let's go. We have the Reshiram here, Kyogre, Claydol, and a Flying Pikachu V. So here we have another Celebrations Code card. Up next we have a Zekrom, Reshiram, Mewtwo EX, that's a hit. And then another Professor's Research. So very, very nice on the Mewtwo EX. That That is so eye-catching, that Confetti Hall of Foil. I can't get over it. Looks pretty good there. And looks fantastic on the back. So let me sleeve that up. We got a hit. It's been so long since I've opened up booster packs. I forgot, you know, what I forgot about the excitement of pulling cards. You know, I'm, I'm so busy with the investing side of Pokemon and, you know, making content and, you know, really researching the market that sometimes you just forget about how fun it is to open cards. So you get the Palkia Hollow here. Groudon, Xerneas, and a Solgaleo, which I don't think we pulled that yet, so that's very nice. I needed it, so very good. And the last pack of celebrations. <laughs> you mean to tell me you're not gonna give me one of the big three? Come on, baby. I'll take a Venusaur. You know, no slack on Venusaur, but I will take a Venusaur here. All right, last pack, Magic, come on, come on. Got a Zekrom here to start, Palkia. Oh, oh and a Mew. What? Top 10 did not pull a Venusaur Blaster as a charge. I bet it's okay. I got a lot of hits here that I really love, especially that birthday Pikachu. That hit is tight. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in and watching me open up all these booster packs on my birthday. It really blesses me. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, that's really all I got for you. I wanted to show you an opening that I do, I think, maybe twice a year. So there it is. Uh, stay tuned for my next video coming out, I think Thursday, and then of course in Auctions of the Week this weekend, so you don't want to miss that. Thanks again, folks. I love you. I'll see you soon.